morning. How's it going? Good, Andrew. How are you? Morning. I'm good. Uh, welcome back after your day off, after Thank an you. unbelievable day off with the lovely weather. I picked some day, didn't I? I mean, yeah, it was savage. a bit random on my part. I just wanted to take a day this week. And uh, yeah, yesterday was the day, so I got really lucky with that. Yeah, it was absolutely savage. Today, by the way, is going to be much the exact same. Uh, maybe a little bit more cloud right t towards the evening, but uh, again, all this morning, lovely sunshine. The sun is coming up already, as you can see out your window there. It's lovely this morning again. Cold again now, mind you. The car was frozen again this morning, but highs today of about 14, maybe 15 degrees. Uh, but still, very nice expected again for today. Uh, now, some of the big stories that we're waking to this Wednesday morning, Andrew. Well, unfortunately, it's bad news in terms of two things with relation to COVID. Uh, there's a scramble on now to fix problems with the vaccination program in Ireland. This has been caused, of course, by the news that not only is AstraZeneca now uh, to be given to only people aged between 60 and 69 here, but there's now problems with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and a huge delay to their deliveries to the EU following uh, blood clot fears uh, with relation to that. So that's the story that's on the front page of the Irish Times. The other problem uh, with COVID today is that there has been a pausing of the mandatory quarantine programme in Ireland. Now, the Minister for Health yesterday confirming bookings have now been paused on the mandatory hotel quarantine system. Sources have said the pause will last for four days. That's another big story in the Irish Times today. And also in the front page of one of the big stories in the Irish Times online today, remains of mothers and babies should be returned to families. Kitty Holland, the social affairs correspondent with the Times today, writing about this. She says the remains of mothers and babies buried in sites that were once run by religious orders, where possible, should be returned to their families and mass graves uh, protected and preserved. And Oroxus Committee will be told all that detail uh, later today. So that's in the Irish Times this morning. Uh, the examiner, kind of the same story there on the front page, scrambled to get vaccine rollout back on track as Taoiseach to meet task force ahead of the Johnson & Johnson delays, European deliveries and AstraZeneca clinics cancelled. Uh, the uh, Taoiseach Michal Martin is to meet uh, with the head of the vaccine task force this morning as the government is desperate to try and get the COVID-19 vaccination programme back on track. Main story on the front page there. Should Catholics pay their TV licence fee? is a question that a Kerry priest is asking. Uh, he's questioned whether Catholics should have should continue to pay their TV licence after a disturbing and inaccurate and disrespectful storyline in RTE's Fair City. That's according to Father Kevin McNamara from uh, Moy Van. Uh, it's not the first time he says that the long-running soap opera has inaccurately um, uh, reflected confession. He said basically there was a lot of inaccuracies as to how confession is carried out in one particular scene. And uh, it's a question on the front page of the examiner there this morning. Uh, in the Irish Sun, front page there, Andrew, shot down Johnson & Johnson jab, as we just mentioned, held up over blood clot fears. And now they're looking at um, delaying the second shot of Pfizer and Moderna to the people who got that, because the whole plan, I suppose, is to give as many people as possible the first shot of whatever uh, vaccination, because that gives you a, a, a very high level uh, of cover. So that's the front page of the Irish Sun today. Um, Adrian Dunbar, Irish actor and star of Line of Duty, is pictured on the front page. Uh, show leak gaff over Sunday's new star. So a lot of talk about uh, Line of Duty at the moment. The BBC reportedly launched an urgent probe this week after an upcoming Line of Duty twist was accidentally revealed online. Oh no, what a disaster there. I'm staying away from that because I'm only still on season three. Uh, and also, um, Matt Willis, you know, Matt Andrew, who was in Boston and he's married to TV presenter Emma Willis. Well, he's mm -hmm. been speaking uh, in the past few days. And the Irish Sun have got this in the front page. You can see it there, top right corner. Scientologist nearly busted my marriage to Emma. Matt is the latest celebrity to speak out uh, about Scientology and um, what he says are the dangers of it. And a really sad story coming out of Carrigan Shore in County Tipperary yesterday where a little three-year-old girl has tragically died after being hit by a bus. Oh, that's a dreadful yeah, that's story. That's on the front page of the Irish Sun as well this morning. Uh, the Examiner this morning, uh, more on the vaccines, or sorry, not the Examiner, the Independent, uh, more on the vaccines, up to 100,000 to miss out on COVID vaccine jab this week as vaccination clinics are cancelled. 
uh, growing fears that the key target of vaccine rollout campaign will not be met and bribes and blackmail uncovered as former bank worker arrested in major fraud probe. Uh, fraud detectives uh, encountered a sinister blackmail plot when they launched an investigation into a former employee of the central bank who allegedly committed fraud crimes after he set up a business to help clients apply for bank licenses. That's another story in the uh, independent there as well this morning. Now, some of the top trends we're waking to today. Bitcoin is trending. Um, an all-time high price yesterday on the markets. One coin of Bitcoin now worth over $62,000. My God. And Dogecoin then. I think you had to tell me what Dogecoin was, didn't you? A while back. I, 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 I'd never heard of it till this morning, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Or some coin we were talking about. I remember one day and I was like, I don't know what this means. But anyway, that was created as a joke. And yesterday, uh, one Dodge coin is worth 12 cents. So jokes on someone. I don't know. That's also yeah. trending. I suppose if you own a lot of Dodge coins, it would want to be a lot of Dodge coins. A lot. Yeah. Uh, Bayern Munich last night. So Bayern are trending this morning. They were in the Champions League. So last night, Bayern Munich won the game. They drew the game and they lost in the route of the Champions League. Work that one out. What does that mean? <laughs> they won 1-0. Uh-huh. They, drew, they drew three all in aggregate. But they're out of the Champions League. Right, yeah, so, I guess. Yeah, the, the away goals kicked in, but just trying to see people last night and like, hang on, it was three all. Why didn't it go to extra time penalties? And then people were like, no, because of the away goals. They're like, yeah, but they scored an away goal. Yeah, but they left it, you know, so you, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, they won the game, they drew an aggregate, but they're out of the Champions League. And Chelsea, they did win as well. Uh, they're also true to the semi finals of the Champions League, also trending this morning. Uh, come here. Um, there was, uh, you know, you and I have to do these video calls quite often. There's a story in the paper today that uh, modern day job interview faux pas, which will include dodgy audio, dodgy looking cameras, and apparently a big uh, factor on whether or not you get the job in the interview is the mess behind you. So, oh, uh, okay. yeah. So, uh, which, by the way, begs the point as well. You always see people on the news, right? You know, experts on to talk about whatever it is. And it's just absolute World War Three going on behind you. You're thinking, Les, you're on the national television station. Yeah, I know. Would you not tidy up behind you? Anyway, that's one of the things. Make sure you've got a clean background. Uh, otherwise, you won't be getting the job, apparently. Uh, really smart people have lots of books behind them, I notice. <laughs> yeah, they do. I right, actually yeah. sometimes pause it and I'm like, what book is that? And I want to find something, some really shit book, you know, some trashy kind of soft porn or something like that. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll catch you out. Or like the girl who was live on BBC News in the UK and she had her bookshelf in the background and right in the middle of the bookshelf was a sex toy. Yeah. <laughs> that was a classic. Do people do that. that on purpose, do you think? I, my first thought was she did it on purpose. But uh, apparently, you know, her, her mother is the one who had to text her and say, you know that that was behind you. And she apparently was mortified. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. But anyway. I love it. Uh, so I, 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 I go through some of the, the faux pas of the modern day job interview because of technology in, in, on the show this morning. We have a busy one, though, because we've also got your chance to win those car raffle tickets for the Lixna GA Club to win a brand new Hyundai Tucson car. So that's also coming up on the show this morning. I finally went for my swim. You probably saw me on social media. Um, you you were kind of the reason why I had to do that yesterday. I was like, I don't know how long I've been telling Andrew. Yeah, no, I, I can't wait now to get, get out to Banna. Everyone's yeah. talking about, I can't wait to get to the beach. Um, but yeah, I went yesterday. Oh, Andrew, as I said earlier, I mean, what a day I picked to be off. It was amazing. The swim was just gorgeous. I mean, I was wearing a wetsuit. I, I didn't yeah. be. Yeah, but uh, it was it was gorgeous, gorgeous. I look forward to hearing all about it. We're live on the radio in a minute's time. Have a great Wednesday and enjoy the day today. Good luck.